here comes another unboxing video did I say video <laughs> video and so this is uh, something that just came from one of my purchases on eBay and I'm very eager to open it up so let's see what's inside okay oh my goodness <laughs> look at all this packaging material this person really went above and beyond to make sure that this was packed extraordinarily and this thing looks like a mummy hang in there so here he is the bear I've been waiting for about a week for maybe a little longer this one was delivered by uh, the post office but it was sent out via snail mail the probably the cheapest method and so he's beautiful I think he may be English yeah he does look like a British bear at first in the auction I thought he was German but the more I look at him the more British he looks and he has awesome awesome amber glass eyes a little upside down wide mouth it almost makes him appear as if he's frowning or about to cry. He has a great looking stitch nose. And again, I can't get over those amber eyes. They're absolutely stunning. And this bear has a lot of mohair coverage. Generally, these older bears, which I think this one is from the 40s, maybe the late 30s, um, he has great mohair coverage. They're generally bald. And especially since they were played with toys. And he has uh, great paw pads that are in good shape with no moth holes and they're made out of felt and generally the moths go after the wool felt paw pads and this one is in great shape he is wonderful he's fully jointed he has a tilt growler inside so when you tilt him back and forward he makes a mooing sound now it's not working unfortunately but that's to be expected because a lot of these bears have been played with so many times that the growlers go and so they no longer work after a while but look at him. He is spectacular. And he has a flat, stubby face like a lot of the English bears. A lot of the English bears also had short arms like this. And uh, it's pretty comical, actually. And they ha this one has longer legs than the arms. And earlier bears had long, long, long spoon-shaped arms. So I can tell that this is probably the 40s, if not the 50s. But I'm aiming more towards the 40s. And he's a great-looking bear. And so hang in there because I'm going to show you some uh, screen captures and shots of me actually sniping and winning him. So if you're interested in watching people swoop in at the last minute and bid on things on eBay, stay tuned and I'll show you in a second. Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So I love sniping. So I'm going to go in at the last second on this old 1940s teddy bear and try to bid uh, probably within six to eight seconds. So I'm going to snipe it. Um, hopefully giving nobody else a chance to count to bid me and raise the price. So let's see what happens. And uh, we got about another four minutes left. And let's go in there and try to steal this little cutie away from other people. Okay, so we got two minutes left. I'm going to throw in my maximum bid and hopefully nobody else can counter attack me and raise the price too much. So let's see what happens. Yes. 